light on now, so we can have a little bit of... It's a bit dark now, so the next one coming. So, second police yeah, car coming. Can... Two discussing, let's make it. We're going up to Inspector. I think he's just said escalate up to Inspector. Do you want to say something? No, I'm okay. I'm quite happy just... Uh, so don't forget, if you need to pause it, you can pause with the pause button. Yeah. Okay. At the moment I film. You can always cut the film. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was can you just knock this off? It'll still peep. Okay. Yeah, don't go on I'm way. sorry, yeah. <laughs> I could have had <laughs> before. <laughs> I just can't see anything at that light. Can you make yeah. a bit more light here? I don't think we can. Okay. I let's see if No. I don't think so. Unless we put that on, let's yeah. see. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Good my evening. friend. Hello, my name's Sergeant Marco. Are you alright? Hello, Sergeant. Okay, and what's your Hello. name, please? Hello. Nice to meet you. That's Karen. Karen. And your name, sir? Mine's Peter. Peter. Okay. Peter, obviously I've been called here by my colleagues, yep. all right, as a supervising officer for this area, okay, in regards to their concerns or the reasons why they've attended to speak to you. Okay. My understanding is that they've had, to apologize for the light, um, they've had a call, basically, um, from a member, I believe it's somebody that owns one of these properties. Now, one of these properties has had quite a lot of criminal um, incidents that have occurred. Mm -hmm. So they've obviously got concerns for people that are around the property, okay. which is why my officers have been called. Okay. My officers have come to speak to you to yes. basically ask you what is the purpose that you are here for, okay. which I think is a reasonable thing to ask, I agree. considering what's been going on. I agree. Okay? They have been concerned by the fact that you're not displaying any registration on the front of your vehicle. I don't know about the rear of your vehicle because I can't see. Same inside. plate on the back as on the front. Okay, all right. And in regards to something to do with the tax disc. The tax disc displayed. displayed. Right, okay. And for your information, uh, go on. no insurance either. Right. <laughs> okay. Okay, right. My, the way I look at this at this moment in time is, mm -hmm. whilst you are parked here, mm -hmm. I have no issue with you being parked here. If you wish to stay here for the evening, I can't see anything that you, at this moment in time, that where any offences are being committed, okay? So, at this stage, I'm quite happy with the way the things are. Yeah. What I am raising with yourself is, yeah. um, and please don't take this in any way to be any way derogatory to yourself or anybody else, no, I understand. but my concern is that you may, mm -hmm. you may mm -hmm. 
be committing offences if you decide to drive this vehicle without a registration displayed mm -hmm. on the front and rear of the vehicle mm -hmm. on a road. Yeah. Okay. And that if you make that choice to drive on the road, mm -hmm. um, and somebody does stop you, yeah. you may be committing offences for which you may either be reported for summons yeah. in regards to it, or issued with a fixed penalty notice in regards to those matters. Okay. At the moment, I'm satisfied. You being here, okay. I've got no problem. Okay. But obviously, I need need to make you aware of those mm -hmm. facts. Um, that's your choice. Okay. How you then decide to drive this vehicle if you wish to drive it and what manner in which you're going to drive okay. that vehicle. A very intelligent and courteous uh, response which okay. I thank you for no and I love uh, your use of the word may right. which is very judiciously selected I'm sure but thank you very much so uh, no we are uh, so we're you'll, you'll, you'll get to hear a lot more uh, of right. this. Do you know a chap called uh, DC Ian Emmons? It's, yes, yes, uh, I know. Hanley. Yeah, uh, yes, I know. Yeah. Just, no. just telling you, Matt Peter. Okay, and, no problem uh, at all. He might be able to no enlighten you on some of the background stuff right. that's going on. That's no problem. But, that's uh, no issue to and me. Sorry, what was your first name again? Mark. Thanks, Mark. Mark. No problem at all. Enjoy your evening. All right. Obviously, if you do have any issues where people do come and cause you any problems, please contact ourselves, and obviously we'll deal with those matters. Right. Obviously, if we do get calls, because there are people around, yeah. please don't think that anybody is any way casting any aspersions on anybody individually, yeah. but yeah. we've got to make sure that everything is safe and everything's yeah. in order. All right. Okay. Excellent, Mark. All right. Thank you very I much. I wish you a good night. Sorry <laughs> for good spoiling night. your evening. You're not spoiling my evening. This is why I'm here today. All right. All, All right. right. Thank okay. you very much. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Bye -bye. Thank you. Make the light off. Good. It's better. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, wait and a moment. That. Wait a moment. Yeah. Wait a moment. Wait a moment. I'm still filming while he goes. Maybe there's uh, one of his bosses has come on. Might be good. Ah. Because he did say escalate it to inspected. I heard him say that before okay. uh, he came over to speak to us. Yeah. Which means it's gone up to the inspector and then the inspector might have spoken to someone uh, okay. above that. So yeah. I'm pretty sure. Because certain. this is the other one is a, is a red uh, yeah. private car. Okay. So. Go. He's going off. And for this. Is this so? Uh, no. I don't know. Maybe. Keep filming it. Yeah. No, it's just a little cup. Okay, here we go, Peter of England. What do you say for that? <laughs> okay, so let's have some light on the. So, as you, as you heard, very fair, very, uh, very, um, just very, very gentle. I thought it was e excellent. The first two cops come on the scene and it's just always typical how they turn up, you know. Uh, hands on their, their batons and uh, telling you what you have to do. But as soon, it seems, as you escalate it to a point where you almost put them in check or checkmate, they have to start thinking. And the beautiful part of it is, usually the people higher up than them actually know a little bit more about the law and are a little bit more concerned probably about their future career path. Now this, this chap, Mark, an excellent, uh, uh, an, an excellent presentation, and have you noticed, he said, May. Mm -hmm. How many people in the United Kingdom have ever been stopped for having potentially no insurance, displaying no road tax and no number plates, when they will tell you they will take you your vehicle and crush it, but now I may be committing an offence. Now that's good enough for me, to maybe, maybe isn't certain and statute says if you do x y and z 
you are guilty of an offence. We are evidently not that guilty. It's still to be decided. So, once again, keep tuned, keep listening, and the adventures of the beautiful Karen, who just was <laughs> such a... Okay. Stop me shivering. Thank you very much. Karen and Peter, we continue. So, stay in tune with Ree. <laughs>